I mean, that's why I brought her? Oh no, finish your tweet. It's not, that's fine, just give us a second. Here you go, hashtag it. Go get her, Tiger. Oh, I so pity the dude who pressures her into prom sex. Teenage warhead. Were you expecting that that photo to be that huge? Kind of. You know, I read the script and I knew that it was something that I had never read before or something that I had never seen before, and I was like, wow, this is really onto something. At the beginning, I wasn't really familiar with the comics. Um, but yeah, no, I think all of us had kind of a feeling. I think it was really the studio that was doubting the success of the movie. You read the script, that's good. When you saw your, your, uh, your you know, the, 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 you were playing Megasonic Teenage Warhead. What was your first reaction when you saw how it all went about? Um, well, I was super excited because she seemed super like a super strong female character, and I don't see a lot of those. I feel like, um, but when I was auditioning, I had no idea that she was Negasonic. She actually had a code name, Kathy, and they told me that she just was a superhero who was gothic. So I didn't find that out until like a couple weeks later. But yeah, I was super excited about it. Finally, I don't know if you got to meet him, but uh, Colossus, the 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 sound coordinator, you know, the, the, the sound guy, his name is Andrew. Um, he's huge in Puerto Rico. Okay, from Puerto Rico. And he's a huge reference. He used to be a huge reference in Puerto Rico. But you be able to, when you're talking to him, when you're talking to people inside, behind, you know, from the production side? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I saw most everyone from Stunts, like, probably every day. Um, it was a really close set. Everyone was really cool. And he's amazing. So. Right. Thank you. Thank you.